Welcome back to the MGH United Road to Glory. Apologies for no episode yesterday. I wasn't feeling very good, but today I'm feeling a bit better. So we are going to crack on with things. We have Forest Green Rovers, who of course came up with us from League Two into League One. And I think it's time that we really put them in their place and say, look, we've improved a lot more than you have. They are down in 19th, whereas we are 6th. We're actually doing very well indeed. Quick updates on the squad, actually. We do have a face mod for Patino, um, but it's not the one I want to use. I found a different one for now. I'm waiting for the guy to fix the other one because I, I think I told you guys I used it and it, it shared the same face as my goalkeeper, Nyland, so I couldn't use it. He's reassigning it. We should have it in the next few days, but uh, we've got a different face for Patino. It's better than his generic one, and uh, that's good. So let's get into the first game of the episode. After this, we have... Oh, God, I have to get through all these menu items again. Sometimes, I don't know why, it seems to reset the tutorial things. Uh, we've got a cup game... And then we've got a couple of league games that should be winnable. But again, I don't know where some of these clubs are at right now. You know, are they one of the top teams? Are they one of the weaker teams? Can't wait to play against Derby. I think that'll be a really difficult one. And of course, it's another game for Bailey Cargill, Captain Cargill, against his old team. I wonder if we can maybe get a corner, whip one in and score a header with him. That'd be pretty cool. Can we see Patino's face mod? Let's have a look. I think... It's not too bad, but it's not the one I really want to use. And we've got the camera angle fixed, by the way, as well. I'd say what, it's not too bad. Like I said, it's a lot better than his generic in-game face. And then when we get the real one done, we can apply it, which will be really nice. Uh, also, guys, we are still in the transfer window. And I am still keeping an eye out for a central midfielder. You know, I'm looking at the young player in the free agents list. Uh, I think his name was Nixon. And we did see that Willock was a bit rubbish. So we're not going for Matty Willock. That is not a good cross. Okay, I just completely misjudged that pass. Wheatley comes in. And it wasn't enough. I thought I could have made it with Wheatley. He's rapid, but we are 1-0 down within 10 minutes. And it's completely my own fault. Awful defending. The pass just seemed like I was I was going to get there with Cargill. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I was sure I was going to get there with Cargill. That is... Yeah, that's poor. I would really like to have the ball at some point. I feel like I've barely touched it. Very frustrating. Here's Cadden. What's he going to do with it? He's going to cut back, so I'm going to block that off. And then force him on the inside. It's a terrible cross, but they're still going to get something out of this, aren't they? What?! Nyland, are you okay? What is going on? How's he scored from there? Definitely need to see this again. There was no danger, really, from there. Oh, my. Nyland, what have you done letting that in? That is not good. 2-0 down. I look like an idiot now, so let's put them in their place. Now look. <laughs> Instant reply is what we need. Here is Huggins. Staunton over the top, maybe. It's not a good pass at all, but we've, we've somehow got away with it. I'm not going to be able to cross that. I don't really want to. Huggins over to Patino. He's got to have a shot from there. Oh, my God. Not quite as good as the shot he had on his debut, which, of course, actually went in. Yeah, this is, this is not going to plan right now. Let's go again. Maybe this time we can get something going. Here is Garbit into Joyce. I kind of want to give that back to Garbit, but he's been marked. Let's give it to him now. Uh-oh. Got nowhere to go. Over to Sutton. Let's whip one in for Theo. No! Why was that originally going towards Staunton and then it switched so late? Oh, no. Cargill, you've got to get there. <sighs> that was close. It wasn't a bad cross. It was quite inviting, but we could not seem to just get on the end of it. We go again, though. Go on, Theo. He's going to get there, I think. Yeah, he is. Staunton's made a good run. But I don't think he's going to get there. Oh, mistake from the defender. Oh, and it's just a terrible shot. Okay, well, that's going to be half time. And we are not going to get a goal before we go in at the break. So we need a huge, monumental performance in this second half to turn this around. Nice. This is good. In for Joyce. Much, much better. Inside to Garbit. Come on, keep going. Hit it. 
Yes! I thought he missed it. I thought he missed it, but he's rocketed it. Is that even a word? He's unleashed a rocket into that top left corner. Beautiful finish from the Kiwi King. I haven't said that in a little while. I thought about giving it to Staunton, but no, I've gone solo. Bang. No chance for the keeper. All right, that's the perfect start to the second half. That's exactly what we needed. Just don't ruin it now by conceding straight away. Well done, Wheatley. God, he's an absolute tank, isn't he? Absolute beast. Now here goes Joyce again. We do have Theo ahead of us. I'm going to give it to him now. Oh, he got a touch. Slight little deflection there. Put pressure on the defense here. They might make a mistake. Oh, no. I committed to the tackle. How is he turning? Oh, Nylon, big save. How is he turning on Cargill like that? Has not been a good performance defensively at all. I've really struggled. Corner coming in. Wheatley heads it out, but it's not gone far. What I need to do here is get the ball and just get down that left wing. They're there for the taking. Come on, Patino, get in there. No. Sutton, close down the gap. Oh, my God. I cannot get the ball. Please stop passing it around me like this. There we go. Play it forward. Right, this is the moment we equalise. Let's just go. Into Theo. It's a good pass. I don't think the keeper's going to come out. Garbit's making a run. We've picked out Garbit. Can he score a second of the game? Yes, he can! <laughs> we don't deserve this at all. We really don't. There is no way we deserve to be equalising, but I will take it. Theo, Garbit, but most importantly, Joyce. He is picking up the ball in a pretty deep area after coming back to help defend, and he is releasing these other players that are doing the business for us. Okay, now I make a change. This is winnable, 100%. I think I might actually take Garbit off. I know he's on a hat-trick, but I have a feeling if I put on Hartman, put Theo on the right, Staunton in behind... Actually, no. Do you know what? Staunton hasn't done anything in this game. We're going with Garbit. He can get his hat-trick. I just feel like sometimes... You, you push your luck, and I'd be better off with Staunton there, potentially, a left-footed, but no, we're going to go with Hartman up front, and Staunton in behind, so Theo will go out on the right. We kind of need to get the ball out, though. I'm just going to do it. Let's get these changes made with 15 minutes remaining, and let's push for that win. Here is Sutton inside to Garbit. Going to keep the ball here. I don't need to do anything stupid. Over to Theo. Back inside. Here's Hindman. I don't know how good his shooting really is. I haven't tried it, so I'm not about to shoot there. Here we go. Garbit on his hat trick. Goes around one. That is going to be a free kick. What? Ref. Are you kidding? Play on. It's fine. It's fine. That was a foul, but we'll play on. Here's Garbit. Inside to Theo. Or well, outside to Theo, I should say. Back inside to Garbit. Oh, my God. They closed me down so quickly. This will be our last chance. Oh, Joyce, you've gone offside, mate. You moron. Why did I pass it to him? Why did I pass it to him there? It was so obviously offside, and I still did it. Isn't it funny how the brain works? Well, at least mine. <laughs> That's going to be it. Unfortunately, we are going to be dropping two points against the team we should be beating. We are better than them. Even though last season they were better than us. The signings we've made, the growth we've seen in the team. Actually, it might not be over. No! No! I, I, I swear I passed that to Hartman. Oh, well. Like I said, I, I didn't really deserve anything from this game. So to come away with a draw is actually pretty good. From being 2-0 down to almost winning it, you could say. Towards the end of that second half, who knows what could have happened. We will take the point. Right, so after that game, we have a couple of days rest before a cup game. The EFL Trophy. Uh, what we're going to do, though, is take a look at Nixon, the midfielder. I think it might be silly not to sign him up. But also, we have an update on Hackford, a striker that, again, might be too good to not sign up. And Wizard Mods has done me an absolute favour. He's made a face for him, even though I haven't signed him yet. It's kind of a, if you get him, here's a face. And I thought, what if we signed him and then loaned him out? I think that could be a good little way to invest in the future. Have a player on the books that isn't playing right now because Hartman and Theo are better options. We could just loan Hackford out, even if it's for two years. By the time we make it 
somehow into the championship, which I'm sure we will, despite having some issues at the moment, he will be ready to go. So I think I might sign both of these guys. Nixon, I've apply applied a face. He looks like a really good player. Honestly, I, I, I think it's just stupid not to, but I'm always a little bit cautious not to overstep the mark and just sign too many players. But I think for sure this would be more than enough this season. So Nixon, we're going to go ahead and delegate to sign him. Uh, we're looking at probably at least 2,000, aren't we? That's what I'm willing to go to anyway. We'll go 2,000 to 3,000 and we'll send that off. And with Hackfield, I guess it's the same. He's one rating lower, same age. So we'll go 2,000 to 3,000. And it's just securing our future a little bit. So Hackford, I will try to loan out as soon as we can if he agrees to join, which I'm sure he will. And, you know, I'm looking at his stats. And whilst obviously he's absolutely rapid, his actual attacking stats aren't too great. So I think it would actually be really beneficial to loan him out anyway. Whereas Nixon could probably fight for a central midfield spot next to Patino. It'll be between him and Hindman. Let's see what happens. Will we get them done before the game? Looks like we will. Both accepted. £2,000 a week for each player. Both important first team players, though. That's a little bit tricky with Hackford. But... It's stupid not to do it. He's going to be great. We were looking at him anyway, and then he became a free agent. So we'll accept it. Welcome to the club, Nixon and Hackford. Two young English players that will play vital roles in the future. I think Nixon, like I said, he, he will play. So we will get him involved. But let's go ahead and put Hackford up for a loan. Uh, of course, Corbin, we're trying to sell. So we will make up a little bit of money on the wages that way. We've still got scale. I am listening to offers for scale because at the moment, Hartman and Theo are just too damn good. Let's have a look at Nixon here. So he's got the number 17 shirt. That's absolutely fine by me. I need to change his development plan. He's definitely a good central midfielder. We don't need to change anything there. I would like to improve his shooting and his defending. Let's get him kind of like a an all-rounder. I don't know what the best one is going to be to do this. It's probably best to actually do defensive and then attacking. So I think I'm going to go with a ball-winning midfielder first. I don't need to touch his pace. I think his pace is fine. It's going to improve his defensive work rates. And then we will do probably box-to-box -box or playmaker. Maybe... Mm. That's tough, actually. No, I'd probably go box to box after that. That's the only one that does his shooting. Interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do ball winning midfielder first. And because we might as well while we are here, it might be that Hackford doesn't get loaned out. It depends if we even get offers, right? We might as well put him on a uh, a training drill. What, what do you call it again? Uh, a plan. That's it, a development plan. We should probably go with Poacher. Poacher just just grows their finishing stats so quickly. So let's do that. He also gets the attacking work rate high. Okay, let's put the team together now for the EFL trophy game. We are going to take uh, Stephenson out of the team. We'll have Hindman on the bench, and I'm going to play Nixon in the middle. I'm going to give him his full first team debut in a cup game as well, which is pretty cool. I'm also going to put in Paul. I do like to change up the team for the cup games. Uh, what else do I fancy doing here? We could put Cook in there. Although I want to try Patino and Nixon. I could actually try Hackford before we loan him out. I could just give it a go, you know. Yeah, why not? It'll be interesting. We're going to take Staunton out. He can have a little rest. And we're going to put Theo on the right and Hackford up top as the striker. The striker. We're just going to give him a go. And I'd also like to potentially put French in, but eh, nah. But we'll put Sibois in because Nyland had an absolute shocker in the last game. And we might as well do what all the top teams do, rotate goalkeeper for a cup game. So here we are at the United Arena. Just a reminder, of course, next season we won't be playing here. I cannot wait to kind of evolve on that story. I think you guys are going to really enjoy that in season three here we go first touch for hackford and first touch for nixon brand new players coming in free agents and good enough to be in the team technically 
But as I've already discussed, I think we will try and find a loan option out there for Hackford. And Nixon will fight for this position with Hindman. That could be a red card, you know. That really could be. He's lucky. Very, very lucky. In behind Theo. Was it Theo? I think it was. Completely took both his legs out. Let's get the corner. The corner. The free kick delivered into Patino here. Shoots. And he almost scored from that kind of angle. That's ridiculous. Another attempt here to swing a good delivery in. And Wheatley can't get his header on target. Oh, look at that. Bit of space here for Joyce in behind. Edge of the box. Over to Nixon. On his debut. No. Couldn't get the shot away. Here's Paul now. Good delivery. No way. <laughs> Nixon on his debut. What, what is it with my central midfielders scoring on their debuts? He is going to be some player, isn't he? I'm so glad we found him. We needed a central midfielder. We've got a central midfielder. Oh, my God, that shake. Oh, that's horrible. Look away, guys, if you're sensitive to that kind of stuff. What a goal, though. The keeper got a touch on it, but it wasn't enough. Let's have a look at the replay here. Oh, the technique. Through the keeper's... No, sorry, through the defender's legs and then underneath the keeper. Our new number 17, Nixon. Welcome to MGH United. He could be in again here. Or back to Hackford. Can he score? Oh, no. What have I done? Why have I played him and then just scored with his first shot? That's going to make things tricky. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that was insane. What a strike. Nixon gets the assist as well. Look how much power he got behind that. What? Oh, no. That's ridiculous. Oh, guys. You know what did it? It was the face mod. He just sent it to me. And I'm like, oh, my God, that looks really good. I want to use him. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um, yeah. Do I still loan him out after seeing that? That's incredible. I don't know. I mean, do we abort Theo as a striker and have him play as a right winger? But then what about Staunton? You, you see what I mean? I've got some real issues in picking players. Oh, God. It's not bad to have good competition. And it would not be a bad thing to have Hackford out on loan, building up experience whilst we use Hartman and Theo. So maybe I'll just stick with it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I will get the ball with Hackford and I will try another shot, maybe from further out. Let's just see if that was a fluke, just how good that shot was. Maybe it really was a fluke. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. We'll see if, if it goes... Oh, my... No! No! Oh, my... That's what you call a fluke. <laughs> um, no, actually, the goal itself isn't a fluke. But me throwing it straight to him was a fluke. There's no way I, I aimed it there. Look where... I'm, I'm trying to throw this to Wheatley. <laughs> and he's just lobbed me from there. <laughs> okay. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to shoot again with Hackford. And we'll see. Was it a bit of a fluke? Can I get it to him now? Nope. I've lost it. We will get another shot with him. And we will see. And there is half time. Super impressed with Nixon, by the way. Fantastic midfielder. He's going to be versatile. He can play as a right back, left back. There he is. Honestly, I think he could be a star in the making. Jeez, Cargill. You bullied him. Good header. Here is Garbit. Over the top for Hackford. Actually, it wasn't a good pass at all, but he's won it back for us. Theo. Over here to Paul. Hang on. Yes. Okay. He didn't score that one. <laughs> Out here to Garbit. I don't know why I shot with Garbit there. Here we go. Bang. Okay. It's a pretty good shot, to be fair. Oh, man. See, look. Here's the thing. It's because he's a free agent. I don't want to miss out on him. That's part of the problem here. Oh, go on. Go on again. Oh, my God. He's completely missed it. If he wasn't a free agent, I never would have signed him. It's just because I know a club will come in for him. And I'd miss out on having such a good player. 
it's a shame really, but not because it's an incredible opportunity to sign a great young player for nothing. I mean, it's the ultimate road to glory signing, really, isn't it? And obviously, we've been able to sign a few. Slide in. Nice pull. Okay, maybe it's time to make a couple of changes anyway. We'll take Garbit out and put in uh, Nisbet. We'll put on King as well for, uh, for Sutton, not Hutton. And let's put in Glover as well for Nixon. Five minutes left. Let's not concede now. Because that would mean... Potentially a replay, I believe, which we do not really want. Oh, no. Since bringing on King, I feel like my defense has been pretty uh, pretty bad, to be honest with you guys. He is 53, 54 rated. Not great. All right, here goes Theo. Hasn't really had many opportunities in this game. Let's give that to Hackford. Through for Nisbet. Oh, my God, not a good pass. But that should be enough. There we go, guys. We do progress through to the next round. And we don't have to play a replay. Unless it would have gone to extra time. I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and finish off the transfer window here. And will we get any loan offers for Hackford? Or any transfer offers in general? We still have players available to sell. Just don't feel like we're getting anywhere with those, with those players. We're just not getting any offers in. So it might not even be up to me. I might not even get a loan offer for uh, for Hackford. So he will be here for the season. I think to make it fair, I will release Corbin. I think that's, that's a good way to do that. So if we don't get a loan offer, which we haven't, we've had a transfer offer for Wright. I don't need a tutorial, please game. Um, no, I'm going to keep Wright. He was quite good for us in the first season. I, I don't need to get rid of him. He's good backup. Four hours to go. Are we going to get anything? I don't think that's... I, I think that's it. I don't think we're going to get anything else. It's crazy, really, isn't it? Hackford on loan. It's a great potential deal for anyone in my league or French League 2, something like that. We've got <laughs> a loan offer for Cross. A loan to buy offer. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to I'm going to delegate this. Uh Let's go one year loan. And do you know what? I don't need a crazy amount of money for this. I'm happy to take 160 to be honest, but anything less I would probably say no. So we'll go with that. Shame it was for for Cross and not for Hackford. Although I wouldn't have obviously done a loan to buy. So that's it. The window is done. And there you go, Hackford is staying. Well, do you know what, guys? Maybe it's a, a blessing in disguise. Oh, hang on. Is he going to be 16 years old, Lacey? No, still not 16. But he is a cam. He's doing Shadow Striker at the moment. 64 rated. He's going to be a really good player for us as well. Transfer window closed. Almost a billion spent. And that is the end of this episode. So in the next one, we take on Crew Alexandra. And then after that, we go to Plymouth. Yeah, we've got some good games. We really do. I might do an episode where we play a load of highlights uh, because there are just so many fixtures. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching, guys. Again, apologies for no video yesterday. I will make sure I make it up to you with, with more, more highlights in tomorrow's episode, maybe, uh, now that I'm starting to feel a bit better. But uh, catch you next time. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you then.